During these search warrants, we have to make sure that the scene is safe. We have to clear the residence. We need to make sure that any threat that there could be to us is neutralized. We don't like people walking around the kitchens. Uh, that's typically where you're going to have your knives or easy access to knives. Uh, there's going to be weapons all over the house. Uh, we want to do a protective sweep of the area so we're not putting them in an area where they have a hidden weapon. The adrenaline, the nervousness uh, can start getting to you a little bit now. Uh, it's just that you've done so much work to get to this point. Um, even though you feel comfortable with what you have, uh, you always want everything that you do to go well. And at this point, yeah, your heart's racing a little bit, and you're hopeful everything goes smoothly. I think he's here. Looks like his truck is here. There he's there walking in the driveway, so we're good. How you doing? How are you doing, sir? Dennis, Officer Summit with Fish and Wildlife. We have a search warrant for your house. Um, if you go ahead and keep your hands out of your pocket, the case is, is for unlawfully killing a bear over bait. Over bait? Over bait, yeah. Would you mind taking a seat in my truck and we can try to go through the details of what we have? Okay. And then I will head in real quick. Make yourself comfortable. When did when did putting out some of the bait start? Like after spring bear started. After spring after, after spring bear started. Just so to see if they were awake. Okay. Like what happened? You would go in there, or would go in there, or how would that work? Yeah, like he would go in there and, and put gonna... something down, and then uh, uh, then like later on, like when I had time to go in with him, and we'd go in to drive areas and and use binos right. and, and right. watch for bear activity and stuff too. Sure. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of go back and check on it every now and then mm -hmm. in the area, see if they were awake or moving around. Or... Right. The marshmallows, the red stuff, and the dog food should be here in your hunting stuff? Um, well, there's only, like I said, there's like one thing of powdered sugar left and then like a little bit of dog food that I had, but that's all. Okay. And then you started, you started hunting the area or stalking the area or walking the area? Or checking the area, looking for sign, looking for tracks. Okay. Uh, that's where you killed your bear? Oh, at the end of the road. Down near the end of the road. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you being stand up. Um, and I know from the time talking to you behind the truck, um, you had it in your eyes that you, you just you were... want to die. He's been cooperative. He's told us the story that we're, we kind of already knew happened. He's agreed to just take us through and get us what we need. So we're not going to be throwing the house. We're not going to be uh, looking in places where there's no evidence. We're just going to go find what we need, and he's going to take us to it. So it's going well right now. Pretty much everything we were looking for and more he had. Here we go. Bear number one. Bear number two. This bear here was a bear that was unlawfully killed without a tag. So we have a second bear as well. The evidence that we need for our crime is here. To me, this indicates someone that's fairly serious about bear baiting. And these materials are actually made to bait bear into an area. They seem small. Uh, what we're looking at is just the skinned out hide. Uh, these are, they'll roll them up. They'll freeze them in the freezer until they have funds to either make a rug or make something out of them. He's already been told he's not going to jail. The crime could carry some jail time. After we do all the evidence, a new report will be generated. Uh, that'll be forwarded to the prosecutor, at which point they'll decide whether or not to charge.